Dave, what's uh, Mookie doing? Mookie uh, was getting ready to uh, you know, prepare for the game today, uh, this morning, and um, couldn't quite loosen up. And so we ended up uh, obviously scratching from the lineup. And uh, he ended up getting some more imaging and uh, an MRI scan. And uh, it revealed a, uh, a cracked rib. So um, he's going to go on the IL tomorrow. And um, the time to return will just is, is basically TBD. I'm guessing how big of a blow is this losing him? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's certainly uh, a big blow to all of us. Um, but knowing, at least having the information and knowing what it is, um, at least there's solace in that, and hopefully we'll get him back sooner than later. So he got an MRI yesterday? No? Uh, he got an X-ray yesterday, um, and then he declined. Uh, we felt that we just kind of kicked the can uh, as far as the MRI, and then today after he couldn't get loose and we did it, and that's what it revealed. Do you have kind of time people? No, no, I mean, it's IL, and then from there, you know, I think, you know, a week from now we'll know more, and, and then we'll have a better idea. You say cracked rib. Any, any indication of the severity of it? Is it just an uh, airline? Or I, I don't know. No, I don't. Okay. As far as today, we're talking about the set fly, and then Austin Barnes kind of gets you off the set flies here. Uh, how big was that adapt to you guys? It, it was great. It was great. You know, Austin uh, had... A couple really good at bats, actually, three good ones. Um, the walks and then the sack fly, the situational, uh, was huge. We hadn't been very good at it, good at it of late, and so uh, for him to do that was huge. And then, you know, all throughout the lineup for us to get a lead, to tack on um, a lot of good stuff, taking walks and some big hits today. So uh, much, much better offensive output. And um, you know, after that first inning with a couple walks, Julio settled in and was really good all day long. What do you think it is better about the first inning for Julio last three times? Um, I, I don't know. Uh, I think today, you know, he felt that uh, he was losing his arm slot and um, missing wide left, but velocity was good. I don't know the answer, um, but it was good to see him settle in. How do you continue that momentum as far as offensive like you guys did today? Continue to compel that into the tomorrow. Oh, well, I think there was a little bit of an exhale from our guys. Um, when you start putting up a crook, couple crooked numbers, win a ball game, you feel better about yourself. Um, I thought Trey swung it back well. It was nice to see Freddie get on track today. Um, there were some good things. So hopefully, Cody's been playing the bat well the last few games. So uh, you know, hopefully that kind of carries over to uh, tomorrow. I'd expect to cover uh, in terms of just like logistically, like, will be more right field for Chris, stuff like that. Or? Um, we're going to bring, um, I think most likely we'll bring uh, McKinstry tomorrow. And uh, we have a versatile roster with, uh, obviously, with Zach, with uh, Eddie Alvarez, and CT can sort of play anywhere. So Gavin, same thing. So we'll move guys around and get matchups, but I think we'll be covered. Hey, these first two, two and a half months with injuries, is it kind of anything that has gone on? <laughs> I don't want to reference uh, Murphy's Law, but um, it's kind of been that way, but you got to kind of keep moving on and the next man, man up my, my mindset. But uh, it's baseball, it's a long season, things like that are going to happen. Yeah, I wonder if you're going to get your full roster at some time this year? Well, at the right time, hopefully that does happen, absolutely. Dave, could I ask you a little bit about the ceremony before and Kofax? I mean, you were born after Kofax retired. Did you hear about him growing up in Southern California? Were you aware of him? You know what? Sandy was um, a little bit of a myth, a uh, mythological uh, character when I was growing up. Um, I didn't see him play. Um, I didn't grow up a Dodger fan. And so when you start talking about Sandy Kofax, it was, it was almost like a person that never really existed. Um, and, you know, as a big league ball player, he wasn't around very often. So, again, it's you hear about him, but you don't see him. Um, so, for me to be able to befriend him and uh, get to know him and what he truly is all about, it's pretty remarkable. And, um, you know, winning a major league game is great, but today's ceremony was certainly a highlight. 
to get him out here on the West Coast with Jane and uh, to see all those uh, friends of his and uh, to go back in time. Um, I thought the Dodgers did a fantastic job um, with the ceremony. Uh, Charlie did a great job. Um, the statue itself, the artist, was amazing. So, really honored to be a part of it. What do you think he means to sport in general? Not baseball, not the Dodgers, but just as an, an athlete? Um, there's, there's just, you know, not many um, baseball players, let's talk about baseball, that really captured, um, impacted the baseball side of things as far as statistically over a career, um, as well as outside of baseball um, and talking about culture, whether it's politics, religion, social justice. Um, but Sandy is an icon and um, he's sort of an untouchable. It's kind of, and Clay nailed it, the class, the grace, um, everything that epitomizes what a man told about. Do you ever notice anything different with the young guys when a legend like Sandy comes around? It's, it's, it's intimidating. I, I think that you see pictures of him, you hear the name, now you see a statue, you see the number, you know he's been in the Hall of Fame for you know X amount of years. Um, so when you see him, it, it, it's intimidating. Um, I don't know how guys feel about approaching him. It took me a while to approach him too. So, um, but he's a very uh, sincere kind of gentleman. Did we get a bad take with these title, or because it could be a longer? You know, um, we we uh, probably will, but I don't know how much that will play in that. How different is that lineup without Ramirez in there? Uh, you know, you're taking one of the best players in all of baseball and you're uh, you know, taking out of a very good lineup already. So it, it's certainly a big blow, but at least we know what we're dealing with and he'll be back sooner than later. You said Ray was specifically because of the collision? Yep. Thank, Thank you guys.